If you use AutoCAD, you should be using XRefs. So I'm going to show you a couple guidelines and tips just to make your life a little bit better when you're working with them. First, you'll want to create an XREF layer. Go ahead and make that your active layer. Anything you XREF in will automatically be put onto the active layer, so make sure it's on the right layer. So I'll go ahead and activate my viewport here, and we'll go to the XREF manager and attach a DWG. So my planning base here has my site design. I'll open that. Reference type, I always do overlay. Attachments just tend to clutter up the external reference manager. Scale is always one uniform. Insertion point, this is crucial that you keep it at zero, 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 because that's the base point your surveyor used in their coordinate system so that uh, when the architect or the engineer or the irrigation or landscape person is using the survey, it's in the same physical location in AutoCAD for everybody. So I've got everything set correctly. I'll go ahead and bring that in. And you can see my site is here now but I am missing my building footprint. So I'm going to open this XREF and just show you how to make a nested XREF. So I'll go ahead and attach a DWG. I have this architecture base that the architect has sent me. I'll do an attachment and that is going to make sure that when I XREF it in, in this base, it shows up in my sheet file. If I did an overlay, it wouldn't show up in the sheet file. So everything's set to zero, zero, I'll hit okay. But what's this? It doesn't appear to have been brought in, but it says it did. So what I do to find it is I'll zoom to the extents and back out a couple more times. And I can see that it's, yep, that's it. It's over there floating in the middle of nowhere. And you know, if, if your drawing was really busy and you had a bunch of stuff and you couldn't just look and see where it was, you can open up the external reference manager, click on the XREF, and it'll highlight it in the drawing. You see it, it highlights it out there. So now that you know where it is, you can move in and select it. So why isn't it in the correct place? It's at zero, zero, zero. Well, architects typically work in feet or inches. I like to work unitless. Um, so all it is, is we need to convert units here and so I will do a one divided by 12, one divided by 12, one divided by 12, because there's 12 inches in every feet. And now you can see my building is in the right place and it's at zero, zero, zero. So I will point out that you do not want to type in 0 0.08 because this number is actually truncated. Uh, if I bring up a calculator, you can see it. Whoop. 1 divided by 12 is actually 0 0.08 with a repeating 3. So you don't want to make the mistake of thinking you can properly scale a uh, drawing just by typing in 0 0.08. That is not the full uh, figure. So always make sure you do 1 divided by 12. So now we have um, that set. We can go ahead and close this drawing and update it into our sheet. And we'll get the notification. There it is. Hit OK. And now you can see I have my site with the footprint. So now that we have our drawing completed, and I need to send my landscape plan to my irrigation consultant. So since we have everything uh, XREFed, it's very easy to isolate the stuff you don't need against the stuff that you do. So I can just turn off all the other XREFs and just highlight everything in this viewport. And I can now W block that out. And if I keep the base point at zero, 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 that means when I create this new landscape to irrigation, that base, uh, is going to be on the same 000 as the survey. So everything lines up perfectly. So I've created that. And then all I have to do is create an email, send to my irrigation consultant, the landscape base, and then whatever other bases need. Typically your site design base, the survey base, and anything else that might be relevant. So lastly, um, 
Sometimes you'll need to send the entire drawing package, like every single thing that you have to, uh, typically this is like contractors um, after a project's been completed and they've completed their as-built drawings, they'll request the design drawings from us. And so they, they like to get everything so that they can do a full on comparison of the design versus the built. So in this instance, in, for this, uh, I will do an e-transmit and that's basically going to create a, a package that's going to take this drawing exactly as it is and package everything that's contained into it, into a nice little package with a pretty bow on it. And here you can see it has all the external references that I'm using as well. So it's going to include those and it's going to make it into a zip file. So I'll save over that one. And zip files are pretty easy. I think, I think Windows natively, you can use them now. It used to be you had to download WinZip or WinRAR to use them, but I think Windows, you can just use it natively now. Um, so now that I have that, I can uh, take it and I'll just show you real quick how, how this works. Here you can see it's got a list of all the files in here, all the XREFs and everything. And, all, and to use it, all you have to do is unzip it to a file, into a new folder. So I've called this one Taco John's Construction Drawings. And you can see everything that was just in that zip file is now in here. So if I open up my uh, sheet file, whoops. Uh, well, if I if, if it was to open in here, I'll go back and try it again. Everything is going to be exactly how you had it on your end before you sent it to them as an X, as a e transmit. So you can see it's got the exact hierarchy. It's got all the X refs and it has all of your layer settings. You can see this viewport in here. It looks exactly like it did on my other drawing. So <clears throat> it's just a really quick, convenient way to package a drawing, send it out to somebody, you know, when you're handing a project over. So that's all I've got for today. Thanks for tuning in and make sure you check back for more videos. Thanks.